Hey guys, Ewan here, in this video we are starting with Peter Molnar, the freezer, no not the fridge, that was Jay Cutler, at least that's what his haters used to call him, no, this is Peter Molnar, the classic physique guy, actually he's a classic physique guy since last year, but he was a bodybuilder for a very long time in IBB in Europe, but he wasn't an open class bodybuilder, he was like bodybuilding up to 100 kilos, something like that, and he's one of the best bodybuilders over here for a long time, he's from Hungary, and his physique, I mean his genetics are just something ridiculous, you can see right here, so complete and such, such an amazing shape, and honestly guys, this I feel is like the only bodybuilder, the only guy, the only classic physique guy that could potentially challenge Chris Bumstead this year. So if Chris is on, that's it's really gonna be it's gonna be pretty much impossible to beat him. Let's be honest. We haven't seen Peter Molnar against Chris Bumstead, and this guy has just as or even more of a classic physique than Chris, but we still need to see him compared next to him, we don't know what it's gonna look like when they stand next to each other, but right here in this guest posing he looks absolutely freaking phenomenal. Now this was uh, to open the open division at Portugal Pro, it was a very interesting way to introduce the open division, as you can see guys, once he's done with his posing routine, the curtains open and then he presents us the open division, you know, he, he included this in his posing routine, it was, it was pretty cool. But honestly guys, I was way more impressed with his physique than with any other guys in the open, honestly, I mean, look at this guy. Even though he's not in contest shape, he still looks absolutely amazing. And you can see uh, what he has that Chris doesn't have, his crazy arms, look at his arms, look at the bicep peaks and triceps, those triceps are really huge, so he does have all the tools necessary to be really dominant in classic physique, and I don't know if it's gonna happen, but it might, it might happen that he can actually beat Chris and become the new Mr. Olympian classic physique, I can only imagine him doing it, he has crazy back, he has crazy crazy chest, he has huge legs, crazy arms, small waist, just overall very very aesthetically pleasing physique, he's classic all day long, I don't know, I mean I have to see him compared to Chris, but what is missing, that is the question, what is missing, I don't see anything missing, I mean you can see hamstrings, they're looking crazy, you can see quads, great, peeled glutes, all over conditioning and details, deep details, it might be because he probably never used insulin, I don't know, bodybuilders today, they all have huge, huge muscle bellies and round muscles, but I don't really have the deep separation, deep cuts, and Peter Molnar, he used to do bodybuilding, so he could have went that way, you know, he could have been bigger and more round, but he would lose all these details, he didn't want to do it, now we have classic physique, and I'm happy he didn't do it, I'm sure he's happy as well, because look at all these deep cuts, deep striations everywhere, this is what classic physique is about, details, conditioning, and classic lines, small waist, he has that, he has dominant back, he has dominant chest, biceps, triceps, and his arms are not just good, they are exceptional, they're really good, especially those triceps, but I can't say the biceps are weaker, I mean, they're also amazing. The only thing that I don't really like about his physique is his shoulders are kind of smaller, a little bit more narrow, he did develop them to the maximum potential probably, but he doesn't really have that, 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 that round, that, the pop in the shoulders, and also the neck is a little bit too small, it kind of makes him look a little bit weird, and maybe I would like to see a little bit fuller quads, especially from behind, but that's, that's really minor, I think if he's 100% on, I think he's gonna be top 2, I don't see Terence Ruffin beating him, or Alex Cambronero, or whoever, I think it's gonna be between him and Chris, and who's gonna win? I think it can go either way, I mean if you look at this, this photo right here, this just looks like perfection, like how can you imagine a better classic physique, what would you add here, what would you change in this photo, nothing, there is nothing to change, it's just absolutely perfect, it looks like some artist carved out a, a stature that is a perfect classic physique and this is it, like there are no flaws, no flaws, yeah, shoulders are a little bit smaller compared to the arms and chest, but it just makes him look that much more impressive, you know, dominant limbs, that's classic all day, small neck as well, small, small tiny joints, look at his, look at his hands, and his wrists, and the joint at the ankle as well, like, this guy, crazy joints, crazy genetics, 
I just have to see him compared to Chris, because Chris is also very, very impressive, and we have an update of him as well, I'm gonna show that to you in a second, but what is more important right now is this, so I asked a question, this guy, Attila, he is a bodybuilder as well, and as he says, he is running Peter Molnar's page, and so he says 11 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, so if he's saying, that probably means he's gonna do it. I mean, he is qualified. Why would he qualify if he wouldn't want to do it? I mean, I'm sure he's gonna do it. And then I asked the question, just to confirm, is he doing the Olympia? And some guy answered, he's doing the Olympia in Iron Classic UK. So it's not really confirmed by Peter Molnar, but he's not very active on social media, though he does post stories and stuff, and he writes on Hungarian, and I don't speak that language, so I don't know. But I guess if this guy says he probably heard him he probably heard him talk about it in his stories or something. So yeah, I, I think we're gonna see him. He was invited by the Iron Classic UK. And I'm not really sure how it works, but I believe there is something about applying for a show. So maybe he just got an invitation, maybe he applied for it, maybe they announced it because he accepted it. I'm guessing that's it, because why would this guy say this with such certainty? So I'm sure I'm sure he heard something from this guy, from Peter Molnar, and it does look like he's preparing for a show. I don't think he's maintaining this kind of shape all year round. I think we saw him last year in the offseason when he didn't have any shows in, in plan. He looked nothing like this. He looked much, much worse. He looks like he lost... Uh, all his gains in the offseason when he's not competing. So it looks like he's preparing for something. Hopefully, we're gonna see him at the Mr. Olympia against Chris Bumstead. And I think that's gonna be a real challenge for Chris Bumstead and an epic showdown. Here's what Chris looks like right now. Nothing super impressive. Uh, his prep only just started. Not much better than last year. I don't really see any improvements. But here's the thing, guys. Chris, he is not using anything basically in the offseason. He's basically on TRT, or like 500 test, and that's what he does in the offseason, that's what uh, him and his coach Ken Valier are saying, because he has all those kidney issues, so he can't really push the gear too much, and uh, now when his prep starts, he does a lot of stuff, I mean not really a lot a lot, but much more than he does in the offseason, so then you can actually see how much he progressed after his prep is done. And he looks the most impressive on the stage on that day. Like, uh, two weeks out, one week out, it's not really that, you know? You need to see him when he does his peak week. And that's when he looks at his best. Did he make any changes? I don't know, I'm guessing he did. He did train all year round. So, he probably made some progress. You cannot really see it right now. He, like, he looks like he looked last year, basically. Maybe you guys have better eye and you can see some kind of improvements. But there is nothing drastic, that's for sure. But it's good, it's good, I mean, he didn't lose anything, that's important, so he needs to come basically the same he was last year, because he was miles ahead of everybody else, so there is nobody really close to challenge him on that lineup, as far as last year's lineup, though if you include Peter Molnar, that can be a game changer, that guy I can see challenging Chris, other than that, nobody else, really, Chris is in a league of his own, so right now in the offseason, or like, how many? 11 weeks out of uh, out of Mr. Olympia. Nothing too crazy. He has a size. He has it all. It looks like last year. We'll see how he looks as the show approaches. I'm sure it's gonna be much, much more impressive, and it's gonna be crazy looking in the end. Can Alex Cambronero take him out? No, no, I don't see that happening. But he's 11 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, and how many? Like nine weeks out of Arnold Classic. And can he repeat the Arnold Classic? He won it. He won it last year. Can he win it again? Could be. Could happen. I don't, I don't see why not. This is his most recent physique update, in which he looks much, much better than the last time we saw him. His conditioning is much better. He looks harder, rounder, overall more impressive. And uh, we'll see him at the Arnold Classic. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be a good show. A lot of classic physique guys, a lot of great classic physique guys are gonna do that show, not to mention the open division, but as far as classic physique, there's gonna be a lot of good guys, and this guy won it last year, so he's a he's a, a defending champ, can he win it again? We'll see, there's a lot of talent coming into this show, so it's gonna be tough to, to repeat, but it could happen, he does look very good right now. Guy Sister Nino did not decide to retire after that poor showing at the Puerto Rico Pro, he should have won that show, as he says, so he says he was spot on the morning of the show, he was great, he was peeled, he was overall spot on, but he messed it up by overuse of diuretics, 
he talked about it at Fuad Abiyad's podcast, that was the reason he was off, so it wasn't a problem with conditioning, he was good with conditioning, he knows he's not what he was when he was at his prime, I believe he's 38, 39 right now, so the age is kind of starting to take a toll on his body, even though he's, uh, he, he's getting older, he does look really good. It's not really so much about the age, there are bodybuilders who look their best after their 40, such as Ronnie Coleman, such as Sean Rodden who won the Mr. Olympia at 43, and so on, I mean Dexter, but it's more about the injuries, so he had, I think he had double shoulder replacement surgery. You guys know how he was training, he was training with a lot of intensity and a lot of volume as well. After starting to work with John Meadows, he decreased the volume a little, he worked more on recovery and that's something he should have done a long time ago to, to, to actually avoid those injuries, but that was the only way he knew how to train and it got him to be where he is, I mean he won 7 or 8 pro shows, 2 times New York pro champ, I think he was top 6 in the Mr. Olympia, so his track record is, is good, it's great, for sure, for somebody with his genetics especially, I think he maxed out his genetics, and now he's not at his best, he is getting worse every year, but can he still win a pro show and go to the Mr. Olympia? I think it's possible, I think it's possible, yeah. I don't know, I mean, Puerto Rico Pro was a very weak lineup, he should have won that show, I don't know, I think he's doing Tampa next, and Tampa is probably gonna be a little bit tougher to win. So we'll see what's gonna happen with Guy Cisternino, but right now in this photo he does look very impressive, big, round and conditioned as well, so he looks awesome right now. He might have to face a guy like John Jewett, and he is three days out of Chicago Pro, and I mean, guy has nothing to do with a guy like this. John Jewett, I mean, he, he's a rising star in 212, look at his conditioning, oh my god, this is dry, this is dry as hell. As James Hollingshead likes to say, Caucasian dry. <laughs> it's interesting what he says, and I find it to be true, black guys have more roundness, but they don't often get as dry as Caucasian guys, so you can see right here, John Jewett, dry, dry, as, as we say in Serbia, as gunpowder, so this is freaking dry, this is insane level of dryness, of conditioning, he is rock hard right now, yeah, there, I think he added some filters to this photo, but still, I mean, you can see everything, everything, he's basically skinless, so, uh, yeah, I think he was third at the Indy Pro and then second at the New York Pro and now he's doing Chicago Pro and he's most likely going to win. So, if he loses, he's probably gonna do Tampa or something like that and if that happens, Guy is gonna lose his chance to actually win and qualify for the Mr. Olympia because this guy is a whole different level, I mean, this guy is a monster, he's shredded right now and this is looking super freaking impressive, look at this. And finally, we have a most recent update of Mohamed Shaban, who is looking like a, like a potential winner of this Chicago Pro. So he's also three days out, he's gonna be facing guys like Hunter Lobrado and Rolly Winkler as well, so it's gonna be very tough to beat those guys, uh, especially Rolly, of course. I can see him taking uh, Hunter out, yeah, I can see that happen, but as far as Rolly, yeah, if Rolly is off, then he might not even end up being in top 2, but if he's, if he's like really really off, if he's up to like 85-90% uh, then Roll is gonna beat all of these guys, but you cannot deny that Mohamed Shaban looks really really good right now, he's peeled, he's huge, he's, this, this, is, this looks like his best, and he says that in the description, this is his best so far. And also he says that he was 223 last year and he's 245 right now, and he's a shorter guy. So in this physique update he looks absolutely outstanding, super super impressive, and I can't wait to see this Chicago Pro, it's gonna be an amazing show guys. So if you wanna see the best bodybuilding show coverage, subscribe to this channel. I'm sure many of you guys are preparing for your own shows right now. By the way, I'm also prepping for my show, so if my videos are gonna help you go through your cardio sessions easier, I would love to hear that, it would make me feel amazing, so if that is the case, comment down below, tell me about that, I love to hear something like that, I know how it is, I always watch or listen to YouTube when I'm doing my cardio, so I know how much it can help, so if that's the case, comment down below, and if you want to see more videos like this while you're doing your cardio or whatever, subscribe to this channel guys, thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye bye.